Franklin, Erica Weston, Jim Hayes as well. 82 degrees. As Austin Gomber makes the game two start, Jack Flaherty went five innings in game one. Couple of relievers, so I'm sure the Cardinals feel pretty good, you know, in terms of where they're at with their bullpen going into game number two and the off day yesterday. Yeah, I think the off day certainly helps, and uh, also the good feeling of what you were able to do in game one. Austin Gomber also gives you a good feeling because he's been so solid. Had a no decision on Saturday against the Cubs, went two and two-thirds innings, only gave up one hit. Did have some control issues, uh, which I, I think sometimes happen when you go back from being a reliever to a starter. Maybe you're overthrowing a little bit. But the Hyundai pitch arsenal for Austin Gomber. And, of course, the knuckle curve is the one that we focus on because that is a pitch that is very hard to hit. And he has a lot of late break to it. And there are times where he throws it even for a strike up in the zone, I think, on purpose. I'm sure Ron Gardenhire and the Tigers right now feel a little shell-shocked after their game yesterday, then game one, as they are giving up a ton of runs, not scoring a lot. Reyes, Scope, Cabrera, Candelario, Castro, Bonifacio, Cameron, Griner, Alcantara. That is their starting nine here for game two of the doubleheader. So Victor Reyes, the switch hitting center fielder, leads it off. But it's the big leagues, and you try to bounce back yes, one way or do. another. It's the big leagues. Indeed. Matt Carpenter at third base playing in, and the first pitch is taken for a ball. Cardinals talked about wanting Gomber to be more efficient inside the strike zone, go deeper in this start. His stuff was good last time out against the Cubs. There's the bunt pushed for a potential base hit, and it is. Nothing Wong could do, try to flip it out of the glove and a leadoff base hit. Bunting as an art form. We don't see it very often. There he is in the front of the box. Push bunt. That's what that is. And he saw that hole on the right side. He knows his speed. So Victor Reyes gets his team off to a good start. Something you also think about with a left-handed pitcher, the push bunt, Dan, because the lefties typically will move off to the third base side on their follow-through after they finish their pitch. Sure. So maybe some more opening on that right side. A strike to Jonathan Scope hitting 285. Eight home runs has driven in 22. Real key play, even though it was a lopsided score, was Scope's walked and scored, also had a base hit. He's at the top of the lineup again. Tommy Edmond, Paul Goldschmidt, Miller is the DH. DeYoung O'Neill at a home run. Matt Carpenter, Matt Wieters, Harrison Bader. It's the return of Jordan Zimmerman, and welcome back. You're greeted with a base hit. Zimmerman's been around a long time. And he had some terrific years with the Washington Nationals, but he has had injury issues of late. You look at his numbers from last year, 1-13 in 13 record, ERA almost 7 in 23 starts, and he was going to be their guy, their number one guy. 19-game winner, in fact, for the Nationals in 2013. There's his Hyundai pitch arsenal. The velocity not where it was pre-injury, but again, it just it seems as if he just...